What Whoa. the fuck? Hello? Hey everybody, it's your boy. Do, do, do the John! Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, please hit the sub button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys. Hit that like button. And if you want, leave a comment and say hi. And if you like video game content, I stream Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Central Time on glimmage.tv slash do to John. Link is down below. Now let's get into this video, shall we? Hey everybody, this is me. Obviously, you just see my intro. <laughs> This is the 11 scary videos only a only real one can handle. Put together by chills. Let's get into it and let's see if we can get scared, shall we? Let's sit down. Let's go. Only a real one hell? can watch these scary videos without getting shook. And only the realists can admit when they've gotten way too creeped out. Number 11. Three friends are exploring an abandoned house and feel like it could be haunted because of how creepy it feels. They know there's a ghost in the hallway and they try to talk to it. If some you know there's a ghost in the hallway. Um, how? How? I want to know. Somebody's in here. Say or do something. When nothing happens, they realize the house isn't haunted after all and start laughing at how they thought there was a ghost nearby. And that's when they get a real scare. <laughs> he scared you? <laughs> yeah, shit, you gotta hear this. As they run from the ghost in the hallway, one of them starts laughing and says, You did that to his friend. But his friend, the oldest of the group and bravest of all, sounds scared pale when he says, No, I swear. <laughs> we don't necessarily see anything, but there's no faking that level of fear. And so I believe this scary loud noise was caused by whatever paranormal presence they felt the need to summon and interact with. Number 10. A man in New York has been following women to their homes. One woman notices a black vehicle parked near her house that doesn't belong to anyone on her street. When she reviews the CCTV videotapes, this scary man is who she finds, and this is what he's caught on tape doing. The scary man is caught creeping around her yard and peeks around the corner, apparently exploring the house for a better place to enter through. Suddenly, her Rottweiler runs out the door but appears to be quickly called back in by the owner, who didn't know anyone was there at the time. The man flees but he no doubt would have kept going if this dog hadn't stopped him, and if he was willing to pick out women and follow them home, then I don't want to think what he would have done next. It can't possibly be anything good. Number 9. A five-year-old girl is on her favorite amusement park ride when her mother hears an unfamiliar loud banging noise. Right by himself. Oh. What was that? Watch again and at 1 minute and 48 seconds you'll see the piece of the ride come loose. It looks like a large round bolt of some kind, obviously something important that you wouldn't want to lose mid-ride. Uh, now keep your eye on the center axle. It shifts with a crunch and now the entire ride is off balance, threatening to give. The mother is hyperventilating with fear as she tries to explain what's wrong. Something just I saw that. I saw that. My daughter's on there. There's no emergency stop and they have to wait for the ride to naturally cease swinging back and forth to get the child out. You can see the carnival worker make an attempt to grab the car at 4 minutes and 18 seconds, but there's not much he can do. Everyone inside is okay, but I'm wondering if you think this is enough to take them to court over. Num oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I can't imagine what that mom was going through. I don't even want to th um, think about it. Oh my god. And to take it over to court for it, no. That's not enough to take over 
take the court because it was an accident. It wasn't like it was perfectly done. Shit like that happens, unfortunately. You'll be losing money if you took it to court. Just because there's no nothing bad happened. It just everyone's safe. And that could just ban something. Who knows? There could be even multiple different reasons why that came undone. Was maybe. Um, who knows? Number eight. A person is making a video in the woods about their fort when they catch something bizarre that leaves them screaming in horror as they run away. <laughs> An unknown creature charges at them on all fours. At 45 seconds, you can see its arms are as long as its legs. In other words, not proportionate to a human at all. This video, taken in Texas, looks like it could be one of the many rake sightings that have recently been popping up again across the world. Most rake sightings show the creature screeching from afar. If that is what's captured here, then this video shows how quiet it can be for the element of surprise. Number 7 A YouTuber named Renee Chase slowly comes to the realization that her house is haunted as she watches a possessed lamp caught on tape in real time. This lamp about a month or so ago decided that it was going to do its own thing. As you can see. What's weird is how the lamp seems to contradict her statements whenever it can. I don't know, it's slowing down now that I'm videoing, but, oh, no, it's not. Someone in the comments points out that a touch lamp with a loose connection could be to blame. She hasn't responded in over four years, um, though I think that if this is a touch lamp, then it stands to reason that a ghost could be tapping it. According to Renee, the light especially seems to go off if she is having an argument or any other emotionally charged conversation. So maybe this unexplained event really is paranormal. Number I understand the whole loose connection thing. Um, I used to have had a touch lamp. Um, and me and my friends were in my room the other day. Not the other day, but way back. Um, so I had a little touch stamp. If you don't know what touch stamp is, you touch it, it turns on. Touch it once is the soft setting. The lowest. Test it twice. Medium. Third time. Bright. Uh, so we were sitting there. We were just chilling, talk, telling ghost stories in the dark. <laughs> and... Um, and all of a sudden, the damn light turned on full, full, you know, full brightness. Like, somebody touched it three times to turn it bright. And usually when you touch it, you touch it three, you can see it go, the light go from dim to bright as you touch it. But it turned on to the full bright right away. And there's no possible way you can do that. Or at least not that I know of. Um, and so it scared the shit out of us because we were telling ghost stories, right? <laughs> and my mom's house is kind of known to be haunted in a way, but I'm going to move this. And they, uh, okay, I'm like, okay, that's kind of freaky. So I turned it off. Didn't, they didn't think of anything of it. Um, I, I didn't touch it. No one else was around it besides me. And I was, I, my hands were even away from the desk. My, my back turned against it. So we just, I turned it off and we went back to talking and telling our ghost stories and stuff, right? Um, and then it happened again, again, straight to the brightest level. And I'm like, yeah, fuck this. I, I unscrew the light bulb just enough for it to not go on when you touch the thing. Um, thinking, okay, that might have fixed it. So, 
we went back on talking to it again. Talking to it, yeah. Talking about ghost stuff and all that stuff. And just talking in general. And it happened. And I'm like, okay, yeah, fuck this shit. Granted, yes, that could have been the loose connection at that time. But, again, to the brightest level, I don't see how that's even remotely possible. Um, but... So I said, fuck it. I unplugged the damn thing off out of the wall. I unplugged the damn lamp out of the wall where there's no power going to it. I re um tightened up the bulb just because I figured, well, it's unplugged. It's not going to be able to do anything anyways, right? There's no electricity going through it. I touched it plenty of times. Didn't go on because it was unplugged from the wall. I, um, so we got continued talking. And it happened again while the lamp is unplugged from the wall. I'm like, fuck this. I grabbed that bitch and I went down to the garage and I threw it into the garage. I'm like, yeah, this is out of my room forever. <laughs> Six. Ghost hunting expert Stephen Lancaster leads a paranormal investigation in an attic that's believed to be haunted. Voices and footsteps are said to be heard ever since a previous owner lost their life up here. After setting up paranormal surveillance equipment, Stephen waits for a while and hears scary noises. <laughs> I definitely heard something in the corner just a few feet away from Steven. Here's what he has to say. I think he's telling the truth, but let me know if you detect any giveaways in his voice. Somebody was walking around. Somebody whispered something to me. Number 5. A paranormal know. YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures oh, claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit Why is the box. Eyes wet? Hi, spirits. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. <laughs> the ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily the possessed. Um. To me, it was talking too perfectly to be. Paranormal. Um, and then talking backwards, that could just be a recording, you know, and rewinding it or somehow. I don't know, but I honestly don't think that might be paranormal. I, but then again, I don't directly know. I haven't seen the box before, so who knows. Stall passes them all. God, that fucking Can you show us an all, please? Thank you. Can you show me? Your orbs. A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Awake. Uh. Awake. Uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left, was I possessed, he later asks, and I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. Number 4. A Ooh, that's freaky. But asking about the, uh, about the uh, um, orbs and it happens each time. That is pretty damn. Mmm. And then, oh, yeah. I, I believe that one. I don't believe the whole doll thing. But I believe the orbs part and I believe the per possessed part, though. YouTuber named DK goes ghost hunting at 3 a.m. using a mirror in his home that's apparently haunted. He sets. 
Why is everybody's assessing with 3 a.m.? The devil's hour. Why everybody want to go ghost hunting during that hour? <laughs> no, thank you. Up a camera and waits until 3 a.m. Sure enough, the video glitches out and shows what appears to be someone's hand. Also, look in the mirror itself and you'll see a face looking to the left with its eyes closed. Let me know if you see it, and if so, what you make of this haunted mirror. Number 3. In August of 2020, a YouTuber named Ryan Privy launched a solo ghost hunting expedition in room 423 of Irwin Street Inn in California, which is said to be haunted by a rowdy ghost, three of them to be exact. He concentrates on getting a ghost on tape and soon he's surrounded by questionable noises, a strange tapping that sounds like it could be from the other room at first. But later, at 22 seconds to be precise, the weird sounds have graduated to the other side of his door. And then another clear knocking noise, like something coming from inside the wall. Yeah, that knock. The ghost continues traveling around the room until Ryan suspects it's now at the window. Are you scratching on the window? It confirms its presence each time it makes a sound, and it makes a variety of sounds in a number of locations, so I think these scary noises are coming from an apparition in the same room as Ryan. Number 2. Ooh. Exploring with Danny is checking out the neighborhood and commenting about how deserted everything looks nowadays. He heads to a nearby park and is looking at the water when he senses something scary in the woods nearby. Hello? What Whoa. the fuck? Hello? Hello? This mysterious figure in all white looks like some kind of zombie, or a witch, or at the very least a scary person up to no good. And there's also a mysterious red light glowing behind it that looks weird too. Danny runs from the strange encounter and realizes to his horror that he's being followed. Just when he thinks it's lost his trail, the maniac creature comes crawling at him at a really weird angle and speed that looks supernatural and really creepy. Oh my god. <sighs> what the? What the? But here it just. Well, if it's going supernatural speed, it's going down the hill. That's a person. Looks like somebody crawling on their hands and knees. It so is. maybe it's not paranormal after all. <laughs> I've got a challenge for you. Well, his fear sounded right on tack on how anybody will feel like it's. But uh, I want to say fake in a way. I want to say. It was real, but I don't believe it was paranormal. I think it was just a mentally ill person or someone pulling a prank. You, since you've made it this far, passed through Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out number one. A tropical storm has passed through here, and aside from causing a messy yard, this family seems to have been largely spared from the bad weather, or so they think. <laughs> Luckily, everyone is alright, and fortunately, the tree didn't go through their house. So if you live near the woods and have a serious storm pass through, remember, this scary CCTV video is exactly why you wait until it's dry before going outside. It doesn't matter if- Um, Mitchell Shells, my dude, what was so scary about that one? With the tree falling. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, you are loved. I'll see you in the next vid.